Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Today, Jurassic World is finally making a comeback to my channel, and I thought I'd start out with a bang. Today, we're reviewing the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex figure from Mattel. This fantastic figure is about $39.99, and for me, I think it's worth the money. It's because I think right now it is the most affordable and accurate depiction of the Indominus Rex on the market right now. Before we dive in and take a look at the figure itself, let's check out the first Dino Rivals collector card that's appeared on the channel. And eh, it's okay, it's got the Dino Rivals logo and the Jurassic World logo, but if you turn it around, you can see it's labeled as the Indominus Rex. You've got some awesome looking art of the Indominus Rex and the stats. So you've got the strength and then speed and then intelligence and what is that, attack? I'm not sure, but for most of them, she's pretty high ranking and could easily kill you. And she would probably use Viva as a toothpick. God, she's gotten fat. Um, she's really chubby and we have to put her on a special food and feed her only just a little bit of it and hopefully she'll get better. So pray for Viva. The only thing I don't like about these cards is how thin they are. They could easily break and that could be frustrating for collectors like me. It's because we want to keep them in mint condition and preserve them. And Viva might eat it because she's a pig. Finally, let's take a look at the Indominus Rex herself. First, let's start with the head. So it's got some really nice and scaly sculpting throughout the head. Um, I love how they did the membranes here. It gives it some skull structure. And then you can see the horns here look very much like a Carnotaurus. And it's, it's just got scaly um, details all the way. Oh no, the camera fell. It's got detail all the way on the neck and then down to the torso. You can see some hinting of rib caging. Hinting of rib caging? Seriously, me? Ugh. Anyways, so you can see some nice muscle structure that goes all throughout the legs and all the way down to the feet, which have been accurately sculpted to resemble the Indominus Rex. And nothing further else to say, their feet. And then you have the Indominus Rex's, um, surprisingly short and stubby looking tail. And then you have the button here, which will go into play later. I love how intimidating the Indominus Rex looks from the front. However, I have one little nitpick and it is that the head feels a little bit too broad towards the back. I think if they made that just a little bit more narrow, that would have made it a little bit more accurate to the movie. But other than that, everything else on the figure is 100% movie accurate, in my opinion. I really love the design of the crocodilian-like teeth that overlap over the jaw which makes it look very intimidating. And then if you open the mouth, ugh. It looks very ugly because there's a bunch of stuff in there that has to do with the action feature. But um, yeah, and then um, you have the very glossy and bubblegum pink mouth, which looks kind of weird. It almost looks like an alien in a way. I don't know, I think they should have made it a muted red or something. That would have looked better. Also, they made the clever decision to make the membrane on the side of the jaw two pieces so the mouth can open wider and it gives the illusion that it's one piece, which looks very cool. And then on the base of the elbows, you've got these quills, which are accurate to the movie and definitely resemble a bird. For articulation, um, it's okay. You've got the mouth right here that opens and closes, but it doesn't stay open. It's because it comes into play with the action feature, but then you got the neck that moves down and up, but again, that has to do with the action feature, so it will not stay. The arms can articulate though. They can move forward this much and backward that much, and the elbows can um, go straight and move 360 degrees. It's too bad that there's no wrist articulation, so then you could grab stuff easier, but then it moves up that much, which kind of makes it disappear from the frame. At last, let's take a look at the action feature. So there's a button on the tail and when you press it, she roars. There's also a button on the shoulder blade that activates a grabbing system, but you kind of have to set up the arms in just the right way so you pick up stuff. And even when you do, it's not very efficient in doing so. It does a much better job biting stuff. Why don't we try it with a three and a quarter inch human figure? Unfortunately, if you want her to swallow anything, you have to stand her up in an upright position. 
Probably my favorite feature of the figure is the red light inside her throat that highlights everything she's eaten, which is awesome. As far as sound effects go, she has three movie accurate roars. And then the button on her shoulder activates her clawing action, which mimics kind of the grabbing noise, which is pretty cool. And then if you go inside of her throat, it can make two sounds of her chomping and eating stuff. Here she is next to the Mattel Rex and the other two figures that have appeared in the video. Not surprisingly, she's much larger than all of them. Besides the Mosasaurus and the Super Colossal T-Rex and the upcoming Super Colossal Blue, she's probably the largest dinosaur in the line yet. But nothing lasts forever. She is soon to be dethroned by the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus. <sighs> I knew you guys would want to see this, so here it is. Here's the Mattel Indominus Rex next to the horrendous Hasbro Indominus Rex. Now I know you're probably thinking, what the heck have you done to this poor innocent animal? Well, years ago, I tried repainting it, and that's when I was awful at repainting stuff, and I didn't like it, so I rinsed it, and it's only half painted now, so that's why it looks so bad, and there's so much paint in the joints that it actually stays open. If anything, it does grab its prey a lot easier, probably because the head is sort of a plasticky rubber. But anyways, that was the review of the Jurassic World Mattel Dino Rivals Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next Antonio Zilla video.